Oh man, so we just, this is amazing. I am so glad I got over my shyness. And we ended up, oh, we went for a bar, actual bar. Um, you know, people who, um, if you're worrying about being naked, man, and going into Nantin from someone who probably the least likely to do it, do it. It's so worth it. But yeah, this is, I got, I got, I mean, got a Yukata, so. Yeah, Dogo Onsen, Matsuyama. And this is the cool hotel I'm at. Awesome staff, super helpful. Man, oh, that was amazing. We say goodbye to Matsuyama and Dogo Onsen. Ah, now we're just gonna we're gonna try to get to Onimichi, but um, but if the weather holds out, should be alright. Alright, sweet. I almost missed it. There's the clock tower. It's massive. This is how big it is. It's pretty cool. All right. Final shot you'll see me in Matsuyama for now. I think if I ever come back here, I'm spending two nights here. This is amazing. Oh and also last thing. We had to there had to be a big Matsuyama right here. I'll see if we can get a bigger picture of it. Beautiful castle. Sheesh! What's that? It's like a cathedral. Oh, yep, we're at Fukuyama Station. Now we gotta get out of here, we gotta find our way to Tomonora. Sheesh. Hopefully, we get to in time. Alright. We're in Tomonora. This is Fukuyama Station. These places are so cool. But yeah, we'll be back there later. For now though, we're going to Tomonoro. There it is right there. I don't know how do we pay for it. Do we... But... We will be staying for two nights. Oh, but yeah, apparently we have to wait for our for our um the person to come lead us to the hotel. Oh man, these places just get more prettier and prettier, man. But yeah, this is the this is the port, old port city based on Ponyo. Um, Ponyo is based on this city. But yeah. Alright. I'll catch, see you when I get to the hotel, I hope. Alright, I arrived here. We are in Tomonora. Port city, small port city, old port city. It's amazing. But yeah, this is just beside my, my, my hotel. 
I'm going to show you the cats. And I stay right here. And there's a... Look, there's black cats everywhere. Little ninjas. But I see... Oh my gosh. If the cat cries like that, it's going to freak me out. I love cats, but come on now. Alright. Alright, alright. <laughs> this, this is the kitchen room. And look what's outside the window. It's like a little cat. It's a cat place. And look, he's just hanging there. Oh man. Alright. All right. We are going. It's. We're in Tomonora. Nora. Ta Tomonora. We're going to go get some. Try and get some dinner. If not, convenience store. Here we come. But. Yeah. I'm hungry. Let's go. So yeah, um, before coming to Tumanora, I originally planned to stop at a, a city called uh, Onimichi, which is between Hiroshima and Fukuyama. But yeah, as, the, as you can see, as the day went forward, I kind of changed my mind. Um, the weather was a little bit rough in the morning, and I was pretty, I was getting through Matsuyama pretty slow. So yeah, that caused me to just skip Onimichi and and catch that bus straight to Tumanora. But yeah. But yeah, so fast forward to now, and what you're you're watching is probably my most one of my most memorable moments in Japan. Um, I ended up at a restaurant, a little restaurant called Kichi Kichi, I think I believe, um, and it was recommended to me by the host of where I was staying. So yeah, I definitely uh, enjoyed it. Um, yeah, uh, the person you see cooking there, I I also believe he was the owner. Um, his name was Taka Takeshi. Uh, and oh man, he was so cool. He was just very welcoming, very kind, and this service was just the best. Uh, but yeah, what you see him cooking there is uh, a Hiroshima style okonomiyaki. And I'm just gonna say it, it's probably my favorite okonomiyaki of all time uh, that I've ever had. I, I, already, I miss it right now, it was just so good. Uh, but yeah, even after that, he even later he just started um, having me taste other foods on his menu which I've never heard of which was which was so dope so you didn't even have to but yeah that's yeah that's probably one of my my best experiences in Japan and my whole trip entirely yeah it was just it was just that good but yeah even the locals there were just super kind uh they were very welcoming too um but I, I enjoyed the conversations uh <laughs> that we had I went from like how I learned learned about Tomonora and uh what made me visit the uh, Tomonora to like them teaching me how to use chopsticks? <laughs> it was crack up, but it was it was real fun. Um, to even them asking about the All Blacks and stuff, which is which is cool. It just shows how popular they are. But yeah, if you're ever in Tomonora, definitely uh, stop by Kichi, and I just I hope you have the experience I had because it really it really made my it really made my night and my trip to Tomonora completely worth it alone because I, and I, I hadn't even explored Tomonora until the next day obviously but yeah just a perfect start to my visit to Tomonora what can I say it's the best